Cali Girls in Panama. Yes, I am. Estoy una vegana in Panama. See? <laughs> yes. And thanks to my lovely Uber drivers and all of the sweet local Panamanian people, my Spanish is on the up and up for sure. And now that I'm in Panama, I want to share some of my vegan life experiences with you. And this first vegan restaurant that I tried is winning, you guys. Yes. I have to show you one of the best healthy vegan burgers I've tried since I started this plant-based vegan lifestyle. One thing that's been easy is my raw vegan lifestyle. Why has it been so easy? I'm glad you asked because fresh, vibrant, juicy, tasty, organic, seeded fruits and vegetables are in plenty here. I don't have that sketchy feeling when buying my produce wondering, does this watermelon have seeds? Are they seeded grapes? Is it organic? Where was it grown at? Where did it come from? Because I've been sticking with fruits and vegetables harvested right here in Panama. So I've been getting my tropical treasures on. Yes, I have. But I have a curiosity for some of the regular vegan food options around here. And so I've been scouting out some vegan places here in Panama. I won't say there are tons of vegan places, but there are enough to go out and explore. And today, you guys, I think I scored a winner. This cute little mom and pop spectacular vegan establishment called Vegano or No. I love the background story about how this restaurant got its start and how it's evolved into what's now here in Panama. Listen. Hi, and who I'm are Jack. You? You're Jack? Where are you from? I'm from Ohio. And what's the name of this restaurant? So this restaurant is called Vegano or No. So what, what inspires you to open up this restaurant? Well, my son got sick. Okay. And he had autoimmune diseases and we had to change our diets so we all became vegans. And we opened this two years ago in our backyard. In our pool house and then we moved it downtown and now we're here and we're a, 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 a vegan restaurant and a bakery. Hello, my name is Milagros. Milagros, and are you part owner of this establishment? Yes, I am part owner of this establishment with another two co-founders. We are very happy to be running this establishment here in Panama. We've been in business for more than two years and we have 150 reviews on Google that are classified at five stars. We have an executive menu that costs $7 or $8. Could be Monday and Friday are always gonna be pasta, and then Wednesday and Thursday could be any plate that is from, like let's say, arepas from Venezuela. It's a drink, an appetizer, and a main course. Yes, you guys. So that story alone is enough for me to want to support and at least try it out and give a review. So number one, loaded french fries. Yes. Okay, so initially I wanted to order the gringo nachos, but the restaurant was out of chili and it was gonna take a few hours for their next batch to finish. Yes, you guys, it's not fast food. So the lovely owner suggested that I try the loaded fries and I was like, hey, I like French fries. So what the heck, I'll try them. And they were tasty, yes. The flavoring from like the beans and the broth and the seasonings over the French fries was winning. It also had some shredded vegan cheese and a couple other herbs and seasonings, yeah. Good job, vegano or no. Me gusto mucho. And the burger that I chose was the crazy cheeseburger. Bish, it was good, yes. The patty had like a smoked flavor to it and you can tell it was made from real fresh, live vegetables and beans and natural ingredients. None of that unpronounceable stuff that tastes impossible. <laughs> if you know, you know. And it was stacked on their gluten-free vegan bread that was yummy. That bun was had a sweet taste to it. And then it had the vegetables, uh, like the tomatoes, onions, cheese, and um, I feel like there was some ketchup and mustard on it as well. And it was good, you guys. I was full, because it also came with some banana chips, and I just tasted a couple of them, but my stomach said, no more, Cali girl, and so I listened. So guys, if you're vegan or into vegan eats, and you're in Panama City, Panama, you gotta stop by Vegano or No and get down on a really good vegan burger that's homemade and healthy, yes. And their menu is full with a bunch of other options, so I guess I'll have to stop by again to try something different. But if you happen to try something else on the menu, put the comments below and let me know. I love a good recommendation, yes I do. So if you found this video helpful, come on and drop kick that like button 
hit the subscribe and tap the notification bell because I have so much more to share and I don't want you to miss it. Hey, I also wrote an ebook, you guys, when I transitioned to the vegan life. It's called Six Things to Consider Before Going Vegan. And it's just things that I learned along the way I think would be helpful for anybody contemplating the vegan life. So look at the description below and cop that book for your archive. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Let's live long and prosper together. I'm Callie Girl and it's my plant-based lifestyle. Deuces! Yes! <laughs> <laughs>